Hello there. If you are a middle school math teacher looking for extra activities to teach slope so that it is more engaging and a little more fun, I have three of my favorite activities for you today. If you don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. All of the activities I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below. So don't forget to click on any of the links um, if you're interested in any of these activities. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to this channel so that you never miss a video. So let's jump right in. I have three activities to share with you on some of my favorite slope activities. And these activities will cover different parts of slope. The first activity is finding the slope coloring page. So this activity is inside of the pre-algebra teachers middle school math membership. And this activity is to get students to practice simply finding slope. So this is the sheet and it comes with an answer key and this is the coloring page. So the way that this works is um, number one, since the answer is two, your students are gonna find all of the ones on the sheet and color it blue. And number two, they will work it out and find that the answer is negative one fifth and they will color all the twos yellow so on and so forth i love a coloring page because not only is it engaging but it is super relaxing for our students when your students get a little bit further into solving for slope i would love for you to try this barbie bungee activity it is one of my favorite activities of all time this is from the nctm the national council of teachers of mathematics website i use this in my class every single year you do need um barbies or some type of dolls that your students can use i often find barbies or gi joes or stuff like you know dolls that my students can use at garage sales or marshalls or I never ever pay full price or I have students donate them because they will generally have toys that they don't necessarily need. And then you do need a large bag of rubber bands along with just large pieces of butcher paper. Um, I'm not going to go into all the stuff on how to how to uh, use this activity, but it is so fun. Your students will be dropping Barbie from a tall distance. And again, it's really fun. So your students will use Barbie. They will use their rubber bands to figure out um, the number of rubber bands that they think that they need for Barbie in order to jump off of a high building without hitting the ground. And they will create a scatter plot. They will be solving for lines of best fit. This is a really great culminating activity for when your students finish how to solve for slope, understand the meaning of slope, how to graph lines in slope intercept form, uh, and using line of best fit. It is the perfect culminating activity. And the third activity I want to show you is just activities that you can find on Desmos. Desmos is a free tool on the internet. Um, all you have to do is just click, you know, or just search Desmos. Um, this is the website and I've just searched slope. There are a ton of activities for you, free activities for you to choose from. And I just recently completed this one. It's called Match My Line. And all you do is just click it. And what I love about this is you can, students can just have to match the, the given line. So this is the, well, I just clicked number one, the welcome activity. Um, so it says for each Match My Line challenge, plot a line that passes through the given points. So you are given two points here and you have to enter the line so that this red line crosses through the two blue points. So I can see here that my slope needs to be one half. So I can just click one half and boom, there it is. And there are 15 problems for your students to choose from. So this is a little bit more complicated, plot six lines, and then your students can go through so on and so forth. But I just wanted to show you the power of Desmos because there are so many activities. If you don't like this one, I would encourage you to click around and see if there are other activities that you might find, you know, more useful for your classroom or maybe a little bit easier or a little bit harder, whatever you want. There are so many. And all I did was just enter the word slope. You could enter, you know, slope intercept form, graphing slope, whatever you might need. 
Um, and it's here on Desmos. It's truly an amazing platform. And there's so much you can do that I know for me, I've only discovered the tip of the iceberg for Desmos, but it's truly amazing. Again, all of the resources that I've showed you here, I have linked in the description below. So if you'd like to grab any of them, feel free to click on any of those links below. And um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in our next video. Bye for now.